Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be connecting our PS5 controller to your PC for Warzone Call of Duty. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, and if this video helps, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website, it's x360ce.com. I'll leave a link right down in the description. Click on the download for 64-bit games, hit save, and you're going to go ahead and open that file up. And once you have it open, you're going to want to locate where your game file is. For me, it's going to be under my D drive. Double click on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and you're going to drag and drop this file into here. And once you do that, you'll see this pop up. Double click that and it'll open up a window that looks like this. OK, so once you have this opened up, be sure that your controller is hooked up via Bluetooth and you're going to map out every single button on the control. For example, for your trigger, you're going to make it this button. For Y, you're going to make it triangle. For B, you're going to make it circle and so on and so forth. So I'm going to leave this window up. I wish I could export my settings so you guys could just import it, but I haven't found a way where you could do that. So if you guys are at this part, just go ahead and pause the video and just copy all the settings down so you could have it exactly the same as mine. Another tip to mapping out things is if you click down this drop down menu and hit record, you'll be able to hit the trigger button and it will record that button. So again, I'll give you guys a few minutes to copy down all the settings so you could continue on with the rest of the video. A few moments later. Great. So now that you guys have had all the settings mapped out, a great way to test it is if you move your joystick, you should get some feedback there. If you hit the Y button, you will have the Y button light up, the B button, the B button light up, etc. So once you have that all down and it's looking right, be sure to hit save. Don't forget to hit save. And once you have that save, go ahead and X out this window and go back to where the folder is. Okay, this is one thing that a lot of people have missed. And this was the one thing that made it that my controller completely worked with Warzone with no trouble, including updates, etc. So you're going to find the file that says X input nine underscore one or zero. It's going to have a different number for you. But what you're going to want to do is change that name and rename it to X input nine underscore one underscore zero dot DLL. OK, this is what made it to work with Warzone. So once you have that file renamed and saved, go ahead and exit out. Now open up Warzone under options, go to general and change it from keyboard and mouse for the in-game control input device to controller and go ahead and start Call of Duty Warzone. And this is where the magic happens. Now your PS5 controller is completely connected to your PC and you can play with your PS5 controller for Warzone. All right, and that's the end of this video. If this video helped out, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more Warzone PC gaming tips, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.